Yo, today I'm gonna show you how to pull out this effect. And not just that, I will also show you a couple of extra tricks to help you bring AI straight into your After Effects projects. I have visited a bunch of different AI tools, mostly unpaid, and honestly, I think I found one of the best ones out there. No time to waste, let's jump into After Effects. First, uh, let's prepare the clips. I picked two clips from a Yeet music video. On the first one, I'm just throwing Twixor on top and setting up uh, my usual base settings. Then I precomb the layer, hit Ctrl plus Alt plus T to enable timer mapping and uh, adjust the graph for a more dynamic flow. This part is the foundation for almost any edit, so we are not staying here too long. Now we need the first frame of the next clip. I grab the frame and render it out as a PNG. Once it's ready, I move into the AI tool I've been using. It's called Tableau AI. I actually bought a subscription, but back when I first signed up, they gave out some free credits. Not sure if that's still the case, but uh, even if you pay, this one has the best price to quality ratio I've seen. And no, this isn't an ad, though it sounds like one. Anyway, we upload the frame we just rendered. Now think about what you actually want the AI to generate, because uh, this thing can literally create anything you can imagine. The key is in how you write your prompt. The more detailed it is, the better results you'll get. I typed out something simple, not perfect at all, so don't copy me. You can find world tutorials just on writing better prompts. After a short wait, here's the result. Not bad at all, yeah. I will generate a couple more options and pick the one I like best. Back in After Effects, damn, this looks sick. This is something you can actually work with. For this clip, I run the same Twixer setup as before, then I duplicate the layer, throw on Dissolve Luma and uh, add Deep Glow. I make sure to put the red tint so it pops and uh, for some texture I add just a little bit of noise. That's already looking dope, but the final most important touch is a proper transition. Since uh, we wanna keep the dynamic flow, I create an adjustment layer and uh, apply one of the shakes from my shake pack. And uh, yo! This look insane. Just pause here for a frame. Look how far it looks. Crazy. By the way, the pack has 20 plus unique shakes I built for moments exactly like this. You can grab it from my side and uh, since you stuck around this far, here's a little bonus. Free 30 for 20 percent off. Only two activations. Here's the full effect. But wait, hold on. We are not done. I promised more, now let's create a full transition using the exact same AI. This time I take a different clip, grab the last frame from it and uh, render that out. Then inside Helio I set the frame as the starting frame and the previous one as the target. Now comes the fun part, thinking of what kind of crazy transition we want. I typed in uh, something totally different from my last prompt, just to see how it comes out. By the way, there's this button that automatically enhances your prompts. It tries to make them more understandable for the AI. Sometimes I use it, sometimes not. It can change the vibe of your original idea, so it's up to you. Also, if you're going for a serious project, you'll wanna crank up the quality settings here. It makes generation more expensive, but the results are worth it. For now, since this is a short tutorial, I'm keeping it simple. Oh, and uh, instead of generating just one output, let's do two. All right, we got two results. Okay, okay. Yo, this one. Yo, this one is solid. Yeah, but uh, no, I'll stick with the first version. Back into After Effects, again Twixter, first to control the animation speed. Then I drop an adjustment layer and uh, throw on a fisheye effect. Animate it a bit for energy. This part is pure creativity, just do what feels right. On top of them, I add optics compensation for extra distortion. On the clip layer, I use uh, Dissolve Luma again to create darker sections, then animate it so it flows with the motion. And uh, of course I add another shake from a pack, this time something lighter, not as aggressive. Perfect. Yeah, actually let's bring in the first AI generated clip too, blend it in uh, and uh, then add another shake to connect them. Yo, holy sh! this looks insane, yeah. AI plus After Effects opens up a whole new level of creativity. And honestly, 
it is just the beginning. I showed you everything step by step, so if you don't catch something, rewatch it.